Hey gang, Jason here with the CAT 420XE backhoe loader from Diecast Masters. So, let's get into this thing and let's see what this is all about. Alright, so I got the 420XE out of the package here. And the first thing you'll notice is we do have some accessories. Uh, this is a, I think this is, I don't know, this is like a tree grinder type thing. That's what I'm going with. It's got kind of some spinny wheels in there and all that sort of thing. And if not, well, I always thought it should have been. And then we've got a hammer here, kind of neat, forks, got to have those. And then this is a sort of sweeper type, uh, maybe, maybe a tiller type tool. I think it's probably more of a tiller than a sweeper. But anyway, and those, I don't know, this back, I guess theoretically this back thing comes off maybe. I know the front comes off. I don't know if the back comes off or not, to be honest with you guys. Uh, the front will. And I'm, I'm probably not going to do it right here because I'll probably end up breaking it, but I'll show you right here. This all should slide off. Oh, it just slides. Good for it. And then, you know, you can put your, like this fella, if you can get it to seat correctly, which I can't because my hands don't like to work like they used to. There we go. Yeah, something like that. Anyway, pretty good. I like that. I like that we get the accessories. Um, the, so one of the things, oh, wants to roll. One of the things I noticed, and on the pictures, the like the production, pre-production pictures, or like the pre-order pictures that you saw online, the color difference between the die cast and the plastic was pretty evident, and it was pretty ugly. And I think that got a lot of people a little bit nervous about these. But after seeing them in person, I actually think it looks pretty good. There's a little bit of a tone difference you can see. I mean, it's not perfect, but it's not terrible either. So I think it's acceptable, especially for, you know, this is like, what, a $20 toy. So a uh, $20 toy that we would otherwise never get in 64 scale, and you get the little accessories with it. I'm going to cut it some slack uh, because in, you know, 2024... $20 doesn't get you too much, and it does get you a little decent backhoe loader here. Now, the, you will notice this 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 guy back here, he, he don't move. He's kind of there, but he don't move. And I assume you can pull these pins, and then, you know, those can go in there. I kind of figure that's what's going on. Somebody with, yeah, that's what happens. This, like, will pop off. I'm not going to break it, though, to get that off. That, you know, so you can put your smaller tools back there. Um... Obviously, this does fold. This joint does not, but this does. So, um, you know, is it perfect? No. Is it, you know, $20 okay? Probably. Uh, your stabilizers, your outriggers, whatever you want to call those, those will go down and they will pop out. Oh, those just pop on there. Okay. Bull. <laughs> I'm trying my best to, uh, you know, like say that this is a fairly well-built machine and then stuff just keeps popping off of it. So, um, you know, that might, that might just tell you something, but you know, this is me trying to be super positive about, uh, this outfit and I'm having next to no luck. I can't get that cylinder back in there to save my life, but anyway, it's on there and it will go up and down if you really want it to. Ooh, yeah, I don't know. That That's probably a mark off on that thing. We do get a decent interior. I mean, it's mostly black. There is some gray on the console. And we do get a real steering wheel. I don't know how well that's going to show up. But, uh, you know, at least Diecast Masters isn't going down the Ertl path on that. I gotta say, I love the detail on the wheels here. Front and back. Very excellent detail on those. And as far as your bolt patterns and all, all that jazz there now again this does raise and lower pretty easy it will stay up let me put the bucket on here um just to kind of there we go the bucket goes on fairly easy it will go up and it will tilt so you do have that going for it now front end does not steer it doesn't really pivot it kind of sort of pivots but it doesn't um if that makes any sense, we got a little exhaust up here and, you know, kind of all that. So all in all, it's, it's a okay detailed tractor. I gotta, you gotta be honest, build quality, not, not fantastic, but it's, it's okay. And considering 
unfortunately, $20 today is probably what $5 was 15 years ago, um, give or take. I don't know. I, I, I can forgive it. Now, if you're going to play with this, if you've got a kid that's going to play with this, uh, it's going to get destroyed. I'm pretty sure pretty quick. Um, I just don't think it's that rugged. It does say play and collect on it, but I'm just going to be honest. The play portion of this, this is for 8 and plus, so I mean, maybe if you have a responsible 8-year-old plus that knows how to play with toys but sort of still be gentle. Other than that, like these cylinders are going to be toast. And I assume at some point they'll overlift these and those will pop out. And you'll have some trouble getting those back in as well. So, is it worth 20 bucks? Well, yeah, sure. This is going to look great on a display. And like I said, for 20 bucks, you're not going to find another one. Um, and so it's kind of one of those tractors. And, you know, I, I call them five foot tractors. From five foot away, you're not going to notice the defects on this tractor. You're gonna not going to notice that this doesn't raise and lower or that this art doesn't articulate like it should. Um, but kind of the key features do. So if you want to pose this on a scene, you know, if you want to dig in something like that, you can do that. I mean, it's it's everything you need is right there. So anyway, and you get the accessories. Like I said, is it a top quality, top notch toy? No. Is it okay? Yeah, that's fine. Especially for the price. So there you go, guys. The Cat. 420 XE backhoe loader from Diecast Masters. I do think it's kind of interesting that it's got metal like on the the box here. And I mean, yeah, there's some metal in Diecast here, but there's a lot of not metal in Diecast there too. So I don't know. Okay. <laughs> anyway, I don't get too hot and do too hung up on those things. I mean, I do like a lot of 3D printed stuff. So you know, what do I care? I really, honestly, at this point in my life, don't care if something's metal or not. So anyway, hello guys. Have yourselves an awesome day. Happy charging.